Uh, so we're going to talk about magnetic variation in this video. Uh, now magnetic variation, it's a pretty simple idea, but it's easy to get confused uh, because you won't know whether to subtract or add. You'll understand what I mean in a second. First of all, what is magnetic variation? Now, basically, I'm going to draw my globe here. Here's the Earth, there's the equator, and here is our friend, the North Pole. Okay, now, no matter where you're standing on the Earth, let's say you're standing over here, North is wherever that North Pole is. Okay, and a lot of you realise that you'll pick up something called a compass, and you'll be able to look at the compass, and the compass will point north, or at least that's what everybody thinks. Now, the truth is that the compass doesn't point exactly to the top of our Earth. Okay, it doesn't point exactly north. It points, well, it depends on where you are in the Earth, but it points somewhere near north, but not quite north. So if I'm standing here, it might point to about this spot here. Or if I'm standing over here, it might point to this spot right there. Or if I'm standing here, it might point to this spot over here. So we have problems here with magnetic variation. Okay, Depending on where you are, different parts of the Earth, compasses behave differently. Now, the nice thing is that they behave predictably. If they behave that way once, they'll behave that way again. Okay, so that's where our magnetic variation idea comes into play. Let me draw a map so we can explore this a bit further. So here's my basic map, very basic. Um, we have a point, a point A, and we have another point, point B. Now, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner of this map, I've written MV equals 5 degrees east. Okay, so that means that if you're hanging out in this particular part of the world, maybe it's here, it means that your compass, the thing you look at, which is supposed to point to the north, is going to be out. It's going to be out, it's going to be wrong by 5 degrees. Now, that's a problem because let's say that you look at this map, you take out your protractor, you maybe can't see that, you take out your protractor, you put your protractor on here like this, and oh, that'll stick there, cool. Um, you take out your ruler, you go point A to point B, uh, that looks like, okay, so on mine, if I draw a line from point A to point B, that looks like it's going to be 57 degrees true. Now, if I use a compass, I'm looking at my compass, I'm looking at it pointing north, and then I turn 57 degrees and I start walking, I'm not going to get to point B because the magnetic variation is wrong. It's wrong by 5 degrees. Now, it's wrong by 5 degrees east, which means that if I follow 57, so when I say it's wrong by 5 degrees east, that means that magnetic, if this is true north, what we call true north, this is magnetic north over here. So if I follow a bearing of 57 degrees on my compass, I'm going to turn out to here. And I'm not going to be travelling towards B, I'm going to be travelling out here, out into oblivion. So instead, what we're going to have to do is subtract 5 degrees from that. So we're going to have to say if... Um, if the true bearing in this particular image is equal to 57 degrees, then the compass bearing is equal to 57 degrees. Oh, sorry, let me get that right. Let's use a formula first. The compass bearing is equal to the true bearing plus or minus the magnetic variation. Okay, now you've seen I've put the word here, or the symbols, plus or minus. And you're going to have to choose which one of those to use. Now, if it's a magnetic variation of 5 degrees east, 
you would use minus. Okay, so I'm going to write that up here. East minus. And if it's a magnetic variation of, say, 5 degrees west, it's a plus. Okay, so uh, the way that people remember this is they say east equals least, as in minus, and west equals best, as in plus. So if the magnetic variation is a negative, you subtract it. If the magnetic variation is a, is a is west, you add it. So for our particular question here, the true bearing was 57 degrees. We need to subtract a magnetic variation of 5. That gives us an answer of 52. So that means that if we want to go from point A to point B, and on the map it looks like we need to follow a bearing on our compass of 57, we actually have to follow a bearing of 57 minus 5, 52. Now obviously the mistake that people are going to make here is mixing up whether they should do plus or minus. Um, okay, that's uh, magnetic variation. That's magnetic variation when you're going from map to compass. Okay, now obviously if you're going from compass to map, all of that gets reversed. But you, can, you and me can talk about that one in person. Okay, that's magnetic variation, map to compass.